Welcome back to this new video of TechPress. Today, let's dive into the exciting world of the AI-powered application development. Let's pit into the brand new Google Fire, base studio against the stylish Lovable Studio, both promising to help you build app faster with the power of the artificial intelligence. So, what exactly are the phase, the Firebase Studio and the Lovable one? So, Google Firebase Studio this is launched recently. This Firebase Studio is in a cloud-based agentic development environment powered by Google's Gemini Artificial Intelligence. This uh, aims to be an all-in-one platform to prototyping, to building, testing, deploying, and running full-stack AI applications, deeply integrated with Firebase services. So think of it as this is a supercharged IDE in the cloud with build in artificial intelligence assistance, right? Now, meanwhile, into the Lovable, the Lovable is an AI powered platform as well, but this focus into building full stack web applications from natural language description. So it emphasizes the speed and ease of use. This allows even non-technical uh, users to create a functional app uh, quickly. So Lovable handles the front end and the back end, like a super base and the React byte. And of course, deployment. Now let's compare a few quick features about both of them. So for example, I can talk about the core approach. Because the Firebase Studio, the AI assist development within the full IDE, so you can prompt Gemini to write a code. They have added features, debug, and even prototype entire applications. More direct control over the code based. Meanwhile, into the lovable, there is the full application generation from natural languages. So you describe what you want and Lovable builds it for you. This handles much of the coding automatically, right? Now, we can talk about the target users. So likely target developers and those compatible with the coding environment, even with the AI assistant. The Lovable gears toward non-technical users, the product managers, the founders, and even the developers looking for rapid prototyping without manual coding. And one great uh, feature is the AI capabilities. So the Firebase Studio, for example, have deep integration with Gemini for code generation. They have suggestions, debugging, even our prototyping from natural languages, images, and drawings. In the Lovable, they uses artificial intelligence to interpret, interpret a natural languages prompts and generate the entire application, including the UI, the backend logging, and the data. Uh, basis connections. So to check out the full stack capabilities, for example, we can try out um, creating an application. So for example, let's say an application that focuses into music taste, like a dating application, right? So you have a prototype with artificial intelligence. I can do exactly the same thing with the lovable. And of course, you might be needing to create an actual account. We can create it with GitHub. We can even create it from Google. That's totally optional. But in this case, I'm going to try out with the same account and see what they both can be creating and see if we can compare them in in this actual video. So they do have deployment. They have collaboration. They have front end frameworks. They have code ownership, and they have so much more. So the Firebase Studio might have a slightly steeper learning cure from absolute beginners due to the IDE environment, but the Gemini Assistant aims to make it more accessible. So the prototyping uh, can be very fast in natural languages prompt, right? And the Lovable emphasizes ease of use for non-coders with users that probably build their functional applications within hours of prompting. So the focus is on uh, getting a working product quickly, right? So this is the part where we wanted to talk about um, the pricing and availability. So the Fiber Studio, this is currently in preview and offers a free tire with a limited number of workspaces. So the usage of the Gemini beyond the free tire might incur some charges. This might, but in this case it don't. Now, the Lovable offers burst pricing tires, including a starter plan. Now, which should you use? So depending on, depending on what you're actually looking for, in this case, um, we can choose Firebase Studio if you're a developer or you're compatible with a coding environment. You want more direct control over the code base. You want uh, deep integration with a full ecosystem. And you want the flexibility of a full IDE with AI assistance for various coding tasks. But if you are a non-technical user, 
you wanted to build applications without writing or you needed a quickly prototype and launch simple medium complexity web applications ease of use speed development basically i believe that we can try out with lovable so you prefer a platform that handles much of a back-end setup for being a super based so in this case just an example like here just for fun creating an actual plan of creating an actual dating application focusing into music taste based on spotify listen songs playlists and so much more so for example here we have the lovable they have generated us uh design inspiration features for version number one colors and styles grinding a spotify connections in this case this one gives us features style guidelines and we have the prototype this application that we can create and get started with this prototype so you can see that here into the left side the flows will be generating automatically and we can prototype actually this live it might be taking a few minutes to check it out but i think there's going to be a really really great uh database to generate this kind of applications so uh, both Fire Studio and Lovable represents an exciting step forward in AI-powered app development. <laughs> so your choice will depend on the technical background, project requirements, and desired level of control. If you have tried either of them, uh, you can tell us what are your thoughts. You can let us know in the comments below. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Express for more cutting-edge tech comparison. Thank you so much for watching, and well, you can tell us which one do you prefer the most. And if you have created already an actual application, you can let us know in the comments below what you think about this uh, application. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. See you next time.